Hey guys, here for another Android video. In this video, I have a very cool app called Dumpster. Um, have you ever accidentally deleted a photo, a video, a document, then to realize that, oh my God, I needed that photo, I needed that document? Well, if that's you, guess what? This app is for you. It's called Dumpster. It's totally free. And like you see here, it's, it's empty. And it works right now as a recycle bin that you would find in your PC or the trash icon that you find on your Macs. Uh, right here, you got empty dumpster go to settings because in settings we're going to choose what we want to save when we delete something so you got images if you tap here in images look at all the images type of images that it can save i got it and look at all the type of videos it can actually save as well so you got it and that's it um by default all this is going to be selected even the apps one but i chose to not uh, turn this one off the apps because if I delete an app or uninstall an app I can always go to the Google Play Store and re-download it because it's mine you know once you buy it, it's yours and if you log in with your Google account and all that uh, your save files is going to be there as well it, everything syncs um, and I don't think I don't think it actually saves your save files and all that so honestly I just go ahead and delete that turn it off and that's it over here you got the options to auto clean dumpster um, a week after a month or three months um, by default this is going to be set to off so i recommend honestly to put it at least a month that way if you delete something you know the after a month if you haven't looked for it you don't need it so so be it so let it let this automatically delete it or if you want go ahead and put it for one week that way you know, if after a week you don't really need something, if you delete it, it means that you don't really need it. So you could go ahead and do that. I am going to leave it for a month and that's it. Now it has a couple paid version, paid options here. Like for example, uh, disable ads. You could do that or uh, keep your deleted items safer uh, with a lock screen uh, code. I think that's what it is. It gives you a lock screen access, remove ads and all premium features. Um, here you can choose a whole bunch of languages like you see there. And that's it. After that, that's all you got to do. Uh, once the first time you're going to use it, it's nothing. There's nothing going to be there. So let's go ahead and start deleting and see how this thing works. Let's go to my gallery and start deleting photos and videos so you guys can see how it works. Let's go ahead here to my download folders because most of the times I keep things there I don't really want. Uh, here you got, let's go choose that. Let's go and choose that. Let's go and choose that, that. Uh, let's go and choose this right here. No, not that. Let's go choose this right here. Uh, let's go and choose a video. Let's go ahead and delete a video here. Let's see what I can delete here. And I'm trying to look for a video I don't give a damn of. Let's go ahead and delete this video right here. This other video right here. And that's it. Let's go ahead and choose delete. Seven items will be deleted. Boom. Everything is deleted, like you see there. If I go back to my download folders, to my download tab, it's not there. So everything has been deleted from my gallery and all that. But now when we go to the dumpster, let's go to the dumpster right here. Bump. There it is. There's everything right there. You got, and everything is put here like per, per folder. Like for example, I got files that I deleted from the download folder. Like you see there, I got that. If I tap right there, you can see the photos, everything that you deleted from the download folders. Like you see there, and you have some info right here of the location where it was and uh, the size and everything. Um, over here, if I go back, go here, I can see the videos that I chose to delete. So uh, like you see, you're going to have everything here by, by file type. If you got documents, you're going to have a different row of documents. If I tap right here, I can actually see the video. Like you see there, you can see, actually see the video. If you want to delete it forever, uh, disappear it from your phone forever and not appear in this app, you could go ahead and choose right here, delete, and it will automatically delete it forever. After you do that, it cannot be recovered. Um, same thing over here in photos. If you want to keep a photo, let's say, oh my God, I deleted this photo from Sting and I don't want to, I don't I want to recuperate. Um, you could click here if you want to share it because it gives you the, also the option to share as well. Uh, but I could go ahead tap right here uh, tap right here let me see okay go ahead restore all I get no over here uh, you see here it has like a check mark click right there when you click that it says restore one delete one or share one right now I could go ahead and restore this one and that's it
restored one item now if i go here it's it shouldn't be there it is there but i don't know it shouldn't be there let's go and click these two restore and restored one item there you go so i click here there you go it's not there now so of course it might take a little while but right now if, let's say i want to delete everything let's go ahead here and say i want to delete everything here i'll click there click there click there I could go ahead here and delete everything now my dumpster is empty or you could have gone right here it says empty dumpster click right there and the dumpster would automatically delete absolutely everything like that now let's go to gallery to see if it actually <laughs> recovered that sting photo let's go ahead here i think it was in my download photo there it is look at that the sting and the other photo here and the other photo here it's recovered and that's it guys that what it does that's what dumpster does and i think it's totally worth it i'm actually going to use it i think this is an app that a lot of new android user or smartphone users should install on their app that way you know if they've been using a computer and a laptop or anything whatsoever before you know they could still use the same behavior of the uh, when you delete a file like going back to your recycle bin and say hey let me recoup that so now you have the option to do that also on your smartphone and i think that's a very cool choice and it's totally free and it works very very good of course if you want to upgrade there's other features that you can do to upgrade but i don't think that's really necessary it still works great as it is so thanks for watching the video guys this was a look at dumpster for android devices